It's been Geelong's home for 84 years, but a lot has changed more recently down at Cadinia Park. While the city's love of their team remains, Geelong's home ground bears little resemblance to the ground where a young Dennis Napthine had to use his ingenuity to watch his heroes play. Back in those days, there were 26 uh, ounce beer cans, the steel cans, and you could collect a few of those, put a bit of board or a bit of cardboard on top, get another layer, and then you get the height to see the game. While there are no beer can platforms in this latest upgrade, at $142 million, the new Joel Selwood grandstand will increase the ground's capacity. This is the biggest and best regional facility in regional Australia and certainly we are proud to have backed it every step of the way. The new stand is almost the final piece of a 20-year, five-stage, $340 million upgrade of the stadium. Kicking off with the Reg Hickey stand in 2005, the players stand and new lights added $49 million, the premiership stand $25 million, with the last two stages the most expensive. The Brownlow stand and new football department coming in at 90 million. And now the Joel Selwood stand, a sports museum and cricket hub costing 142 million. A procession of premiers have visited, tipping in a quarter of a billion dollars from the state's coffers. Go Cats! <laughs> leading to the unofficial nickname Pork Barrel Park. Waste of money. You've got to keep everybody happy but you've got to keep some people happy. It's a great investment for the community. I think it's great to bring money into Geelong. I think it's great for Geelong, I think it's great for the town and great for regional Victoria. Nice to come here when there were no grandstands that far back. And uh, yeah, I think it's great. But this is much more than a shiny new stadium for the people of Geelong. You had the spirit of Geelong invigorated with the redevelopment of the stadium, which paralleled the resurgence of the Geelong football team. You know, on field, off field, the city itself. It was all worked together. It's almost a cliche here in Geelong that when the footy club's winning, the city's winning. But the 20 year redevelopment of this stadium is almost symbolic of the city's own transformation during the same period. From a sleepy hollow struggling with massive job losses to one of the country's booming regional centres. As the stadium was rebuilt, so too was Geelong. When the football club is going well, the town just hums. The development of the stadium sort of runs parallel with the development of the city, I think. As Geelong grows, the stadium's grown. And, and that also echoes the story of the football club, I think. With today marking a new dawn to dark for the city. Harrison Tippett, ABC News, Geelong.